I used to take myself out on dates Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate Sometimes I'd even get the steak Hi my lovelies, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing amazingly well. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about vanilla perfumes that are perfect for the fall season. But before I start this video, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Kindly give this video a huge thumbs up and let me know what your scent of the day is. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. My handle I will leave down there below and I will also leave a QR code on the screen for you to scan. Okay, so before I dive into this video, I have a lot of vanilla perfumes in my collection. And for me, vanilla just screams autumn, it springs winter. It, it just makes me wanna, it just makes me so happy. It's one of my favorite perfume notes. So I have around about 10 or 12 perfumes here that I'm going to share. I'm actually on my way out on a date with my husband. I'm so excited to go out. We haven't been out on a date night in so long because we've both been so busy and it's just so exciting to go out today. But I was just, you know, scrolling online, doing my due diligence, always looking for something to buy. And I got myself the new Fenty Skin Butter Drop right here. These are brand new. I got mine from Selfridges. They also have it at Ivy Nichols here. If you live in the UK, you can get it from Ivy Nichols. They retail for £45. I know that's a, it's a stretch, but I love Gourmand. I'm a vanilla lover. I'm a caramel lover. And I just couldn't... Why did I even buy one? I'm going to need a lot more. But my thoughts are... They might bring this back in like the bigger sizes. But let me open it so I can show you. So it looks like that. I hope that's clear enough for you guys to see. So I'm going to take them out individually. The way I'm excited. And the thing about it is that because they're minis, I know they're not going to last me very long. So I need to buy more. So this is the original Fenty cream. You guys already know it's a cream oily consistency is so so good for moisturization it will literally get your skin nice and supple and this one is actually the um toasted marshmallow and it's shimmering whipped body cream now this comes in like the clear like the white packaging pretty ah oh. yep yep it's very toasty it's very toasty oh this smells amazing it smells like toasted marshmallows and almonds very very nice oh my gosh so this is one this is the one i'm most excited about so this is salted caramel shimmering um whipped body oil if you know me you know i love salted caramel salted caramel chocolate biscuit perfumes you name it salted caramel is absolutely like it's my favorite so this is what it looks like oh <laughs> <laughs> guys this is perfection it smells like a burnt sugar caramel oh buttery beautiful so beautiful i am obsessed i will be getting backups once once i finish filming this video um obviously the original doesn't really have a scent to it it's just really nice but yeah i will link this below if it's still available because i'm pretty sure People are going to rush this like crazy. So now let's move on to today's video. I am going to share so many vanillas with you guys. You already know, if you know me or if you have been here for a while, you know, you know, you know how obsessed I am with vanilla. And I'm going to kick it off with a cult favorite. Everyone loved, well, not everyone, not everyone. I love this perfume. I know many people that love this perfume. And this is Vanilla 28 by Kayali. Vanilla 28 is a brown sugar vanilla. You can get a little bit of like floral nuances, but it's very, very, very subtle. Like it's not strong. I get so much vanilla. This has macerated in my collection. This is perfect for layering. I barely wear this alone. Maybe like when I'm going to bed and I just want to spritz a little vanilla, I may wear it alone in that scenario. But generally, I layer this perfume with almost everything. I'm obsessed with it. I know that Kayali is finally coming out with the Silk, Silk Santal, which I never got to have um, the last time they released it. So it's coming out on the 1st of October. 
I feel like it's one of those ones that I'm gonna need two bottles of. So yeah, I love Kayali. I love a lot of their vanillas. I love the way they do vanillas generally, and I think this one is their best seller for a reason. So next we have Luby Rouge by Christian Louboutin. This perfume is very long lasting. I will warn you that this is an expensive vanilla perfume. It has cardamom, um, it has iris and it has vanilla in the base. I get spicy vanilla. It's deep, it's dense, it's dark. It's perfect for date night. This has been in my collection for a bit. So the maceration is macerating. I am obsessed with this perfume. In terms of longevity, I get around about six hours from this perfume, but I do overspray my perfume. The projection is actually amazing. It's about arm's length. Um, in terms of projection, I would wear this on a daily. I will wear this on a date now. I feel like it's a nice enough vanilla to wear for any type of occasion. So that is Luby Rouge by Christian Louboutin. Now this next perfume is done. It's done. So don't judge me and, you know, feel free to leave me a super thanks. <laughs> feel free to donate <laughs> to me so I can get a new bottle. This is Van Cleef's Orchidee Vanille. I love this. I love this so much. I don't have any more. I literally have what, one meal left. This perfume has a ton of note, but what I get is like cacao, like a chocolatey, vanilla, caramel. It has some fruitiness as well in the opening. This is amazing. It doesn't have the best longevity, but for me, I do not care because I love the way this perfume smells. I get about maybe three, four hours in which I could smell the perfume. Obviously other people probably can smell it on me more than I can smell it on myself, but I think it's so beautiful. It's so smooth, it's so luxurious. It just feels incredible when I wear it. Like it smells really, really good and it gets me a lot of compliments. This next vanilla is probably the most affordable on this list and it's a niche perfume and it's by Bon Perfumer and it's 402. I've been talking about this perfume for maybe three years. This is actually my first ever PR bottle. My first ever PR, I think I was on 500 subscribers when Bon Perfumer reached out to me and I was shocked. I was like, really? So even when this perfume finishes, I'm actually going to keep it for sentimental purposes because it means a lot to me. So this is vanilla caramel and sandalwood. It's very simple. It's very nice. It's also perfect for layering. It's not as sugary sweet as vanilla 28. It's more of a creamy, woody vanilla that I think is perfect for a man and a woman. I think it's just amazing. Longevity is average. You're not going to get beast mode. Um, I would say around the four hour mark, this literally will turn into a skin scent and you probably won't even smell it anymore. So I recommend over spraying. Again, it's affordable and I know affordability is subjective, but in terms of the, in, it's a niche perfume. I feel like it's a good, it's well priced and they have a lot of offerings in their fragrance library. So not only check out this perfume, but definitely check out Bon Perfume. I think their perfumes are really, really easy to like. So that is 402 by Bon Perfume. The next perfume is Spirit Twist Double Vanille, and this one is by Guerlain. I have the old bottle, thank goodness, because the new, the, when they changed the packaging, I feel like they changed the formulation. You still get the vanilla, it still smells exactly the same, but there's something that is slightly different. I think this is spicier. It could also be the maceration, because I've had this in my collection again for a couple of years. But there's something a tad bit different from the this bottle and the new one. Um, but again, the same profile is the same. This is ultimately a spicy vanilla. Um, actually, before I continue, somebody, actually not somebody, a couple of people have actually asked me to say the notes out in videos and to also leave it on the screen. I used to do that. But I felt like, you know, you can always Google the notes. You can always do your due, due diligence. If you want to find out more about the perfume, you can Google it. But let me know what you guys think. Would you like me to put the notes up? Do you want me to say the notes out loud? Does that make it a better um, watch experience for you? Please let me know in the comment section down below. It would actually mean a lot to me. Um, yeah, so this is a spicy vanilla. I'm obsessed with it. I will always have this in my collection. I will buy the new bottle once this is done because I feel like it's one of those vanillas that you just have to have in your collection. It's super likable. Again, not the most long lasting. And I think 
that's the thing with a lot of vanilla perfumes they are not super beast mode and i don't really need them to be they just need to smell good and make me feel warm and cozy and this perfume does that for me so that is spiritues double vanilla by Guerlain. So the next item is actually a body spray and this is by Fleur and this is Vanilla Skin. This smells identical to the perfume. I feel like the longevity is not that different. So I'm quite happy to own the spray because I can use it for layering as well. So this is vanilla, it's meant to have some apple, red apple to be precise, it's got sugar. But for me, I don't get a sugary sweetness, it's definitely sweet. It's giving me more like a vanilla orchid as opposed to like a vanilla bourbon, if that makes sense. But I really, really like this. I think, again, it's great for layering. If you like vanilla, it's an easy reach. It's not going to project. It's a spray. Um, the perfume itself doesn't project so much, but this smells really, really good. I've heard people say they can't smell it. I've heard people say that the scent is very, very faint, which I agree with to an extent. But I get... Maybe like two hours from this, but again, I use this more for layering. So that is Vanilla Skin by Fleur. This next perfume is one of my favorite vanillas ever. In my whole entire collection, I cannot do without this vanilla. And this is all the Audacity by Penhaligans. I have two backups. No, tell a lie. I have three backups bottle of this. Oh, this is from the Potions and Remedies line. If you have not watched my video, on the potions and remedies perfume lab by Penhaligans, I urge you to go and watch, especially if you're looking for a guide to help you purchase one or all of them. Definitely watch that video. All the Audacity is a beautiful, sweet, a little bit smoky, a little bit spicy vanilla. Longevity is great. I get about seven hours. Again, I'm an oversprayer. And when people ask, how many sprays do you do? I don't particularly stand there and count. But I do maybe, I must do a, a minimum of 20, like a minimum of 20 sprays. Like obviously I spray on my pulse points. I always use a vanilla oil. Uh, my favorite is the one by Nest. So I always use this as a base. Like I cannot be without this oil. I think it's amazing and it layers perfectly with a lot of my perfumes, especially the ones with vanilla. Um, back to all the audacity, this is... This is very similar to Baby Cat, but the only difference is this is way, way more likable, way less spicy and sweeter. I have Baby Cat in my collection. I love Baby Cat, but to be honest, once Baby Cat is done, um, I will just be... I would just be using this. This is... I'm very, very content with this type of vanilla. I find this to be either a love or a hate i think a lot of people didn't get the hype i did because i i was looking for this for months and months and when i was able to buy it i could not wait to get it into my collection it is amazing it's spicy it's sweet but it's more like a smoky spicy um perfume some have said it leans masculine i can get why they've said that but i just feel like all in all this is a much better perfume in every way. It's unisex, leaning a little bit more feminine in my opinion. But yeah, this is amazing. If you like vanilla, you are going to love this. This is amazing. And obviously, I love the brand. Oh, and also, I forgot to mention that it's got incense as well. So you get that little bit of incense vibe, which is not so prominent as it is in Baby Cat. Anyhow, get your notes on this one. I think it's amazing. Next, we have Note Vanille by M. Mikalev. Again, <laughs> this is done. This is so done. I may just be cheeky and DM the brand and ask them if they want to send me a bottle because this is pricey. This is an expensive vanilla, but I feel like it's worth it. Um, this was the gifted to me like a couple of years ago so i've worn the heck out of this perfume now the only thing about this perfume that i didn't quite get was the cognac this is meant to be a bit boozy i don't get booziness from it i get more of a warm cozy sits closer to the skin luxurious it's a luxurious vanilla it's a very very high-end super inviting addictive type of vanilla i used to wear this to bed a lot because my husband loves the way this smells when you wake up in the morning and you want this the night before the the smell on your pillow is just it's just different it's just different it's also slightly woody and it has jasmine which thank goodness i don't get because jasmine 
can be it can be too indolic at times it can be off-putting for me so i don't get the jasmine as much which is fantastic i just get a lot of cozy beautiful vanilla so that is not vanilla by m Mikalef. the next perfume is vanilla rock candy sugar one moment vanilla candy rock sugar 42 by kayali this is a sweet when i tell you sweet you can almost taste the smell like the rocky sugary so so good the notes are on the back it has candied pear which i get sweet violet which i get bubble gum white caramel it's very subtle um rock sugar and vanilla cream this is identical to label for sure but i decluttered label there was something in label that i just couldn't deal with anymore and thankfully this one does not have it this is a long lasting this is long for everyone that thinks kayali don't do long lasting perfume there are a few that i will admit could do with a little bit more longevity but this one definitely has good lasting power it projects when i wore this to the office everybody could smell me it smells amazing it's very inviting it's not juvenile because that was my fear at first i thought that it was a little bit juvenile but it is not this is so so good if you like a sweet super super sweet sugary vanilla get your nose of vanilla candy rock sugar 42 by kayali we got two more perfumes to go and the next is vanilla fertile by tom ford they have changed the packaging it looks different i'll leave a picture on the screen but the scent is the same the longevity is not like this this is beast mode vanilla this is so so strong and powerful again this one is another spicy sweet um creamy woody vanilla it's so good it is so good it's so long lasting literally all day long this is one of those ones that has immense projection it, it just lasts for a vanilla perfume by tom ford in this bottle i was shocked by the longevity a huge compliment gets her trust and believe it's also to me feminine i don't find this to be particularly unisex i feel like tobacco vanilla is more unisex leaning masculine but this one is unisex leaning feminine i love this so once again vanilla fertile by tom ford and the last but not least is black opium lay perfume if you know me if you've been here for a little while you know i don't like black opium i find that perfume to be so let me not go in on the perfume but i don't like it but this one this one is beautiful now this one has it does have the dna it's just not as prominent to my nose but you get a ton like they infused a huge amount of vanilla into this perfume which is why i love it so much it also has notes of mandarin orange cinnamon it's got pear i don't really get the pear in the opening personally i just get a lot of vanilla i get the cinnamon but ever so slightly this is vanilla upon vanilla upon vanilla with a touch of coffee longevity is absolutely insane this lasted on me the whole day at work i did not have to reapply because it just smells really good now i walked past one of my colleagues who said i smelled like a chocolate dessert so maybe this has a bit of chocolate in there i'm not sure but for me i get a lot of vanilla spicy woody just an incredible vanilla that i'm just so obsessed with so that is a black opium lay perfume so my lovelies that is it for today's video thank you so much for watching comment down below your favorites from my list and also comment down your favorite vanilla in the comment section down below thank you again for watching please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i cannot wait to see you guys in my next video bye